Now that we can ray trace in 2D, we can finally go back to the problem we really want to solve, ray tracing in 3D. In particular, we'll need to ray trace flat planes, houses, and ultimately, characters. A character like Carl is a complex shape, but as we discussed in the character modeling lesson, he can be broken down into lots of small, four-sided quadrilaterals. That is, four-sided polygons. And each quadrilateral can be converted into two triangles by adding an edge that connects diagonal points. That leads to the question, how do you intersect a ray with a triangle? It turns out that that's one of the most fundamental calculations that a ray tracer performs. Here's a scene consisting of just one triangle. Our real scenes contain millions of triangles. But once we know how to intersect a single triangle, our ray tracer just keeps doing that over and over again. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. So it's a good thing we have computers to help us out and that they don't get tired. As in 2D, we start by setting up a coordinate system. But this time, there are three directions, x, y, and z. As we explained earlier, we pick a camera position, call it C, and a viewing direction, and we construct an image plane perpendicular to the viewing direction. This is where our image will be formed. Let's pick a pixel P on the image plane and construct the parametric representation of the ray, CP, as R of t equals 1 minus t times c plus t times p. This is the same equation we saw in 2D, but now it represents three separate equations, one for x-coordinates, one for y-coordinates, and one for z-coordinates. Remember that in the previous video, we saw that in two dimensions, every line can be written in implicit form as ax plus by plus z equals 0. Very similar to this is the equation for a plane. And every triangle lies in a plane. The equation for a plane can be written in implicit form as ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0. The intersection point i we're looking for is in the plane of the triangle, meaning that a times i sub x plus b times i sub y plus c times i sub z plus d equals 0, where i sub x, i sub y, and i sub z are the coordinates of i. i is also on the ray, meaning that there's a value of t, again, let's call it t star, such that i equals r of t star, which equals 1 minus t star times c plus t star times p, which is really the three equations shown here, one for x, one for y, and one for z. Now we have four equations and four unknowns. To solve the system of equations, we can follow the recipe from 2D and substitute the last three equations into the first one. This gives us one equation with only one unknown, t star. But it turns out when you put all these substitutions in, it looks pretty scary. But remember, it's not that bad. We're just plugging one value from one equation into another. Solve this for t star then substitute back into the ray equations to get i sub x, i sub y, and i sub z. Now I know we've gone kind of fast, but the next exercise will let you practice computing intersection points for yourself.